it's me again. Today's date is January 8th, 2023. It is a Sunday. And today we're going to talk a little bit about math and some happenings with MMTLP. But let's talk about math. So Russ Race, the link is here. Here's the picture. Link below. If you haven't filled out his survey yet about share count per brokerage for MMTLP and NextBridge, and you want to do so, I said go do it. You can give a share count per brokerage. No, this is not an official company share count. You can go to the NextBridge site for that. Here it is. Link below for the NextBridge site. That's the official company share count. The nice thing about Russ is share count that I like is that he breaks down by brokerage. You can enter it in by brokerage. And right now we're getting closer to some brokerages filling up. I look at this tool, what Russ has done with his survey, as a tool to determine which brokerage fills up the quickest, right? Which brokerage is going to fill up the quickest. Some brokerages, as John Berta stated, we have allocations of NextBridge shares to different brokerages on the books. TD Ameritrade is supposed to get 53 million shares allocated. And thus far as reported, they have over 30 million shares reported in Russ's survey. When I do a total share count, I am including big shareholders in whales. If I'm doing an extrapolation based on averages and ratios, then I take the whales out and add them back in. So right now, total share count, the whales don't really skew the data because we're seeing which one gets fuller the quickest. Cups are filling in with water. Which one's going to fill up the quickest? That's how I see this tool. Although that makes me think about Rosa's accounting, which she requested in her injunction. And that might be a next steps right there. Right now we have TD, which has 30 million. Charles Schwab also has a quite a high percentage right now. And I'm not too sure about exactly where it is as of Sunday morning. I haven't rechecked any data. But Charles Schwab is so far the highest percentage out of all of them. Close to being filled up. So if you have a Charles Schwab account and you have not filled out Russ's survey, you might want to go do that since Charles Schwab is currently the closest brokerage to filling up in terms of reported data. Things might get interesting. Now, does that mean that Charles Schwab has more bigger holders? Or if you have Charles Schwab, you're more apt to crawl on social media, you can come up with all sorts of correlations, right? I like to think the correlation that the bigger shareholders or the more active shareholders are more apt to fill this form out. Thus, the initial data is going to look like a lot, which is why I tend to go with proportions and extrapolate out with proportions. So in MMTLP, we take, okay, there's this many shares of MMTLP over this many shareholders, and that gives us our proportion, basically, our proportion of shares to shareholders. Okay. In my extrapolation, I was conservative to address, you know, well, maybe there's 65,000 shareholders, but we really don't know how big of this area this is. It could be 80,000 shareholders. If it's 80,000 shareholders, this number just went up quite substantially because the proportion is going to stay the same. You take in the theories of averages and bell curves and distributions. You think of it as a distribution model and you say, well, because of the law of distributions and how things work around averages, by average I mean mathematical mean, the distribution here can get bigger and maintain about the same ratio of distribution. That's your bell curve. Here's bell curve, all right? And maybe some of you went to a class and the teacher says, I've got a grade on a curve because that's how we do it. So if you're the brightest student in class and you get an F, it becomes an A. 
If you're in a very hard class and you're a medium student somewhere in here, like everybody else, right? Like, you know, 87% of the class, you're somewhere in here, then you're going to get a B or C. And if you're over here, then you're going to get an F. That's pretty much a Bell distribution curve. And that's why if you have a child, they're like, oh, you have a big baby. And they're like, your child's in the 97th percent percentile. So it's over here. It's like 97%, you know, it's like two to three standard deviations above the mean. It's like this, you know, 97 percentile child, you're up here. Or maybe you're in the fifth percentile for size and you're way down here. That's a distribution. For what I'm using for this survey, it's called a Pareto curve. Once you have a certain percentage of that, it'll be pretty accurate. You can get to a certain point. The more data you get, you'll be more accurate. You get to a certain key point of your data collection, and you can basically accurately predict it within, you know, a certain variance. My goal for the rest race is 10% of shareholders reporting. If we can get to 10% shareholders reporting, that'd be great. But the main goal is if we get to 10% of shareholders reporting and already brokerage is filled up, what they're showing is more allocated shares than what we should have. That's God's grounds to take this to possibly the next step. And that's how I really see this tool. I know it's a lot of ranting and a lot of theories today about math. I'm working on a few different things right now. And I thought maybe a math video is good at this time. Goals for this coming week, at least on Monday, hopefully, I can call JP Morgan. Thursday evening, the QCIP for MMTLP, my account, changed on JP Morgan. And now it says next bridge hydrocarbon shares. I got excited and I said on Twitter, ooh, I'm going to call. Are these next bridge shares? Let's test. If it's real next bridge shares on JP Morgan, I can bespoke these. By bespoke, I mean private sales. I don't like to say gray sheets or because gray sheets isn't trading. Gray sheets is called the private sale. I like to use the word bespoke because you're not really sure how this is going to go. And JP Morgan is going to act as the facilitator for this. So hence I call it bespoke sales. But my goal was to try and sell some Nextbridge shares, if they are real Nextbridge shares, bespokenly through JP Morgan. They told me in a previous video, of course, that they couldn't gray sheet these bespokenly because they weren't Nextbridge shares at the time they were contra QCIP. Now that it says this, are these Nextbridge shares? And if they are, I should be able to bespoke some of them. I will let you know. I will record that one because I think that would be rather interesting. Does Fidelity do bespoke sales? Interestingly enough, I spoke with somebody at Fidelity on Saturday morning, yesterday morning. Fidelity has said to call the alternative investments team for this. Alternative investments team. So I plan to do that. I the, the person I talked to on Saturday didn't really know, and I tried to explain to them and, you know, said how JP Morgan does it. So they came back with me. Uh, the representative I had who was very good at Fidelity on Saturday. It seems like they're pretty good on the weekends. Said, oh, yes, I was talking to somebody in the back room. And you want to talk to, in this case, the Alternative Investments Trading Desk. Okay, perfect. Those are my tests for this week. I would have loved to do it Friday, but I got very, very busy on Friday. I did not have time. And then by the time I had time, of course, market's closed and you can't do that. If you want to gray sheet these, you have to do it also during market hours. That's when somebody's there. No market hours, no person is there. Okay, guys, that's it for today. That's my goal for the early next week is to see if we could do that, make a video about it, and then we'll go from there. Like I said, I'm working on some other things at this minute video-wise. They're not ready to be presented yet. 
But I am working hard on that, and that's one reason why I haven't really been posting this past week. I've been working on a MMTLP, Next Bridge Hydrocarbons Related video, but I'm still in the investigation phase of that. But it should be hopefully coming out very shortly, and I should have all my information shortly. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I will see you soon. Goodbye.